<laughs> oh well, that's enough of that rubbish. He was the one who did it with the uh, with the banana and strawberry custard. He took all the banana and strawberry custard. Do you know what he did? <laughs> he put it all over his microphone stand. And oh dear, it made such a noise that uh, you know it just sort of. But it made this sort of strange gurgling noise, a bit like sort of, well, sort of like something that you've never really heard before. Of course, David Attenborough to told me a really good way of blowing your nose. Like this. <laughs> we could do a bit where we pretend this is where we're actually going to the gig. <coughs> ah, here we are on the way to uh, the Land of Oaks gig in, uh, you know, wherever, we, wherever it is. Um, forget about the fact that we're heading in the dark, wrong direction. We're really looking forward to it. <coughs> they always give us a really good reception. I mean, like the last gig we did there, they managed to uh, hustle up six, six people, six people to uh, sort of act as the audience. No, I mean, what more could you ask for? Do you want a biscuit, Mark? Let's go. Oh! <laughs> it's a very impressive nose, that actually. But, uh, I mean, what do you think of um, Mark Jenkins' you know, the, the eternal Mark Jenkins contribution? Well, we were supposed to have one solo time. I don't know what you were doing. You were playing all the way through, Mark. Yeah. Uh, we don't mind. I don't know which show's having more. Mark, we would quite honestly sod the profit. Why doesn't he do it on the... Uh, some sort of phallic symbol. What do you mean, like a cardboard box? A cardboard box would be much more um, yeah. interesting. This I mean, is, this is true. Fa fair Isle, CMI. Fair Isle, CMI. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Phallic Fair Isle. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, you know, if we're looking for phallic symbols, there's one over there. Thank you, Misty. Oh, not too late. Is that working? Thank you very much. That's that's um, Mark Jenkins there. Most incredible, um, yeah, most incredible person. There. You know, I mean, banana mushrooms. It's uh, you know, <coughs> why does why doesn't he uh, take the bee's knees and, and just put them in the bucket with yeah. the soup and just sort of mix it up? And uh, I mean, quite honestly. <laughs> Featuring, we'll just have him sort of featuring saying Jock like that. McScotsman on <laughs> comments and microphones, Stephen. Actually, I hate talking to myself. Right. Do you get something against the hokey cokey or something? Do you not give me a couple of mics? Uh, uh, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, thanks a lot. Right? Yeah. It's thanks right. a lot, Arthur. I'll remember you, right? Anytime. Come again. I'll remember you. Did you enjoy it? No, I only enjoy playing myself. Oh, I'll see. What do you play? <laughs> eh? What do you play? Can we play your mat? A wee bit of this and a wee bit of that. Oh, well, next time we do a gig, let's remember you then. Yeah, well... We're always having <coughs> interesting people to do uh, live performances. Yes. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't know we'd rehearse for that, would you? Don't call us, eh? Well, listen, do you want to score some heroin or something? But, you know, I mean... Honestly, they put their um, their drummer ticks in the bucket with the soup. Yeah. They played the banana mushroom. Yeah. Instead of uh, instead of that CSO one thing. Oh yeah. And uh, <coughs> yeah. Basically, sort of built built a motorway through the middle of the bandstand. Oh yeah. Yeah. With the chainsaws. Yeah. Chopping the little bits down. Yeah. Oh, there's the river. It's the River Avon. Oh, yes. River Avon, alias the River Seven.